Now, Storm Tracker 9 weather with Chief Meteorologist Justin Stapleton. Uh, welcome back, everybody. We'll get to the forecast in a second. First, we'd like to say congratulations to the Facebook fan of the day. That would be Joanne Jones of Eugene. Thanks for being a fan, JJ. We appreciate that. Anyone can be the fan of the day, including you. All you've got to do is go to the KZI 9 News Facebook page and click on the Facebook fan button. All right, we are live out at the Oregon Horse Center. It is Independence Day. Happy 4th of July, everyone. It is a gorgeous day out here as well as expected. A little bit of cloud cover this morning, which I can tell you running Butte to Butte was nice to have as the temperatures were in the low 60s. We've been sitting in the low 80s most of the afternoon. You can see behind me, we've got a good crowd. Our day two of the rodeo. A little bit of high cirrus clouds, and that's about it. Not a whole lot of wind today either, and so it is feeling a little warmer out here. But I do expect that you uh, continue to see things cooling off as we head in towards the later, the, the uh, latter half of the evening here. And as Matt mentioned, uh, 6 o'clock, the Metal Militia motorcycles will get ready to kick off. Rodeo starts at 7.30 with the Bulls. And then we'll be looking at a great fireworks display later on tonight as well at 9.30. Let's go outside to the Storm Tracker 9 Live Radar Sweep and show you what we've got so far. As uh, Jessica had mentioned, Hurricane, still Hurricane Arthur, now uh, working its way up the New England coastline. Very well-defined eye still with that hurricane as well. Made landfall late last night along Cape Hatteras in North Carolina. Still packing winds around 80 miles an hour, and it is trucking at this point out of the north-northwest at around 26 miles an hour. Meanwhile, we've got a front just offshore. Some of the cloud cover that you see on the top of your TV screen there and a little bit of light rain. Most of that will move up into... Western Washington, I'm not expecting any of that to head towards our neck of the woods. However, uh, that may kind of push some of the marine clouds back, let's say about north central and northern coastline as well. 63 in Newport right now. We're about 20 warmer than that as you get to Corvallis at 81, 83 in Eugene, around 76 in Cottage Grove and 86 out towards Bend. So it's going to be a warm afternoon for the rest of the afternoon, but still should be a OK. Stormcast over the next 24 hours sort of looks like this. We'll again, keep some cloud cover around, then we'll see some low clouds fill in late night tonight as we go through tomorrow morning. And in through the afternoon, it'll be back to mostly sunny skies once again. Central coast could have a little more difficulty kind of seeing that marine layer break up until late afternoon. Thus, temperatures might stay in the low 60s, similar to what we've seen for today. All right, so here's the setup over the next couple of days. You got a cold front offshore, and you also see that high pressure to the south. And there's that hot, high pressure ridge over across the central uh, Rockies and up into Montana. So both of those highs are actually going to push that area of low pressure back off to the north by tomorrow night and Sunday. And that means the jet stream starts to lift northward as well. And as it does, that means all that hot air, especially down to Phoenix, you're talking about the haboob and the lightning show they saw from the monsoon. All that monsoon heat is coming in our direction, and that's going to make things a little on the warm side by the end of the weekend. So here's what we've got for the coast tomorrow. We'll see temperatures in the mid to upper 60s, some morning clouds. We'll get to the afternoon sun, and it should be a good-looking day overall. Into the Umpqua, heating up. Look at that, getting back up into the upper 80s to near 90 degrees. Warmer tomorrow, and that trend will continue over the next couple of days. Mostly sunny and warm in the Cascades with the temperatures generally at around 73 to 75 degrees. It will be in the mid to upper 80s across central Oregon. Very warm afternoon out in Deschutes County. And then finally, as we head down to the Willamette Valley, we'll sit right around 85 tomorrow. So similar to today, but you might add a degree or two. And uh, that trend will continue the next couple days as we get ready to go back to work next week. It'll get pretty darn warm. In fact, we'll see upper 60s at the coast. Morning clouds, yes, but still plenty of afternoon sun. And don't see that pattern changing anytime soon. That high pressure ridge is pretty much going to hold tight for about the next five to six days. The Umpqua starting at the 90s tomorrow and then into the low 90s through about Wednesday. And then finally, we start to see the heat break just a bit by next Thursday and Friday. Cascades, 75. Today will be in the low 80s by Monday and Tuesday. And again, sunny skies overall, no problems in the forecast. And here for the Willamette Valley, 85 tomorrow. Few days of morning clouds and plenty of afternoon sun. And that 88 on Monday and Tuesday may get closer to 90. We'll have to kind of watch that trend see how that works and guys i gotta tell you if you're wondering what that noise is uh about every 30 seconds or so it's my man right there that's just making sure everything looks real pristine as you get across some of the bullpen we've got a great night ahead of us here uh at the uh, eugene pro rodeo should be a great night as well we'll be back coming up at uh six o'clock but uh so far it has been a good independence day guys it certainly has. I'm jealous. I want to be up there yeah, with Justin. Yeah, I want to jump through the television right now and get there. That looks awesome. All right. All right. Uh